So basically, we will uh, present the participants of the session with uh, different dilemmas in the sense of uh, sort of open-ended questions that we don't have any good answers to as of today, which are related to public involvement. So, Mr. Bolin, the topic of the session is about public engagement and science. Why is it important to discuss about this topic? Well, I'd say at least two things come to mind uh, from this question. One is from a, a policy perspective, mm -hmm. where there's a general trend towards more openness and transparency in science uh, in general. So, for example, the European Commission has launched a vision of open science, going beyond sort of the issue of open access to also opening up several aspects of the research, including, for example, citizen science, where the general public can be uh, more directly involved in different parts of the research process. And uh, additionally, I would say that as science becomes more specialized nowadays, and with a lot of emerging technologies that has huge potential impact on citizens' everyday life, so for example, genome editing is an example of this, uh, I'd say it's important for different interest groups, but also the general public to be more involved in the research to maintain trust and the relevance of these uh, scientific findings. Um, what is your role in this session and what are you going to talk about? What's your part? Uh, so my role is as a speaker. The session in general is about this topic of public involvement in science and sort of the basis for the session is uh, the results from three different surveys where questions to the general public in different countries uh, on this topic has been uh, posed. And one of these surveys is based in Sweden, so I will be presenting results from this uh, survey. Then there is another survey from Germany, and a larger survey which is based in both Sweden and Germany, and in addition also four other uh, European countries. And uh, can you tell me one surprising or very important finding of the survey you are going to introduce? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, in general, there's a strong support for public involvement in science among uh, Swedish citizens. Uh, although more people support it sort of in general than those who want to be personally involved uh, themselves. Then there are some interesting trends, but also uh, differences, I would say, among both the Swedish population, but also compared to uh, the different nations that are involved in the session. Uh, so, for example, the effect of educational background on personal involvement has some different uh, uh, patterns in different countries. But I think uh, if you visit the session, you will be provided with details on, on this topic. Yes. And um, in the session description, there is about, it's talk about a dilemma cafe. And um, what is a dilemma cafe and what are the participants of the session going to do? What I, yeah. So basically, we will uh, present the participants of the session with uh, different dilemmas in the sense of uh, sort of open-ended questions that we don't have any good answers to as of today, which are related to public involvement. So these questions will be discussed during the session, both in smaller and larger groups, and hopefully we and the participants will develop our collective understanding around these topics uh, together. Okay. Thank you for the interview. Thank you so much.